Hello and welcome. I'm Wayne. And today we're going to take a look at errors or error messages in Microsoft Excel formulas. You know, error messages, those pesky little things that pop up and can ruin an otherwise perfectly good Excel workbook. So in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the more common errors that you'll run into when creating formulas in the workbook. And we'll also take a look at what those error messages really mean. What are they trying to tell you? And then finally, we're going to take a look at some of the tools that Microsoft Excel has to help you resolve or fix errors in the workbook. So whether you are creating your formulas from scratch, or if you are inheriting a workbook that has issues, then stick around and let me show you how to find, understand, and resolve errors in Microsoft Excel workbooks. Let's start with a few of the more common errors that you'll experience when working with Microsoft Excel formulas. First up, one of the easiest to diagnose and fix errors is the name error. The name error simply means that you may have misspelled or mistyped the name of the function. In this example, when trying to sum a group of numbers, I've accidentally changed the last letter of the sum function from M to N, which is of course the wrong name of the function, and when I press enter, I receive the name error. This error can be resolved simply by retyping or correcting the spelling of the function name. Another easy to fix error is the value error. The value error occurs when you are trying to do math on something that you can't do math on. In this example, I'm trying to add two cells together, but my second cell contains a text entry. Since text and numbers cannot be added, when I select the cell and then press enter, the program lets me know that that isn't appropriate and displays a value error. When is an error not really an error? In the case of the div zero error, it can occur when the value necessary for a division calculation has not yet been added to the cell. For example, in building budgets that might have a data entry component at a later date. The result of this calculation is a division by zero and you get the div zero error. This can be resolved by using a error handling function, such as isError, or by wrapping your calculation inside of an ifError function. Our final error is the circular reference. The circular reference, while extremely common, basically means that you are trying to create a formula that includes itself in the formula arguments. This creates a circular reference and the result is always zero. To resolve a circular reference in the workbook, whether it was created by you or you've inherited the problem, you can navigate to the error checking group of the formulas tab. If a circular reference is present anywhere in the workbook, it will be available there and you can simply click on the reference and it will take you to the error so that you can resolve it. One of my favorite tools for resolving formula errors is the Evaluate Formula tool. The Evaluate Formula tool allows you to walk through a formula or function and see the results of each step. You can even step into portions of a more complex formula and step out to see the effects of each step on the entire formula. You can also rerun the formula evaluator as often as necessary to resolve the problem. Here are a couple of easy to use, although a bit more manual, methods for resolving formula errors. The first one allows you to see all formulas in a worksheet so that you can bulk view those formulas and evaluate or fix them. By holding the control key and then pressing the tilde key on your keyboard, you can crack the worksheet open and see all formulas as written. 
When in this mode, formulas do not calculate, so you will need to use the same method to get out of this view so that the formulas will then calculate. Our final method for resolving formula errors allows you to select portions of even complex formulas in the formula bar and then pressing the F9 key on your keyboard. This will calculate the selected portion of any formula that could stand on its own. F9 allows you to isolate problems even in very involved formulas. Be sure to press escape when you are done, otherwise the result of the F9 evaluation becomes hard-coded into the formula. So these are just a few of the error messages or error types that you will experience when working with Microsoft Excel formulas and a few of the handy tools that Microsoft Excel offers to help you evaluate and or fix those errors. I hope this has been helpful to you. Until our next video, thanks for joining me and I'm Wayne. Thank you.